What is going on guys? Peace and blessings everybody. Now pretty much Family Guy made fun of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. A lot of you guys didn't catch it. Well they called this guy Mahmud, which is really Muhammad. So Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now if you guys didn't notice, go watch the clip or I'll put the clip up right now. Notice his chest. There's three little sixes as in 666. So they're trying to psychologically make it where Islam is satanic or something. There's cl many clips of them equating Islam with terrorism. But let's focus on this. In chapter 2, verse 242 of the Quran of the Tafsir of Ibn Abbas, it says, Can find out truth with falsehood. Do not mix the truth with falsehood, i.e. the description of the Antichrist with the description of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Nor not only conceal the truth, nor conceal the truth while you know what is truth. So pretty much they tried putting the description of the Antichrist on the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Wow, this place is really cool, Mahmood. It's like ear-bloodening sounds had sex with nose-bloodening smells, and this is their baby. I am glad you are enjoying yourself. Would you like some of my meat fushnush? It's a chicken that has been yelled at for two hours and then run over by a Mercedes. Mm. Mm. Oh, you can really taste the fear in the chicken. You know, Peter, a lot of people are not as accepting of Muslim culture as you are. Well, I think everything about it is the best. Like this hookah. I mean, who doesn't want to sit around the table with a bunch of guys and suck on the same thing? Hmm, <sighs> it's like smoking my grandfather's jacket. Man, I wish I could stay here all night, Mahmood. But I'm supposed to pick up the dry cleaner before it closes. I killed a mouse with my tie. Nonsense. I'll have my wife pick it up for you. What? She do that? Oh, absolutely. I need you to run an errand for my friend Peter. Of course. Anything for you, husband. That was amazing. She just listened to everything you said. Of course she listened. In Muslim culture, wives are much more obedient. No way, that's awesome! So wait, let me get this straight. Sweet hat, obedient wife, and I get to shout, Admiral Akbar! When I do stuff, you, sir, have got yourself a Muslim. <laughs> Now, where are you going, and why are you dressed like that? Well, Lois, I happen to be a Muslim now, which means I'll be spending a lot of my time in mostly empty cafes, watching soccer on an 8-inch black-and-white TV. Yes, the team I like is kicking it. Oh, no, the team I don't like is kicking it. Yes, the team I like is kicking it again. I will celebrate with finger symbols. Hey, is that for real, that, that diarrhea-only sign on your bathroom? See how they did this psychologically, this messes with people's mind? as well as other clips on this show and other shows which is propaganda where they equate Muslims and Islam with terrorism I'll show you a clip of how they equate Palestinians as the oppressors when they're the ones being oppressed Well this thing is worthless like my Palestinian alarm clock Allahu Akbar! All right, what better place to find God than the birthplace of all of Western civilization's great religions and one really mean one? I had a feeling this is what this place would be like. Oh, God, Why it's so hot out. Downtown. Who downtown. gets married on a get Tuesday? Off these bad feet. Ailments. Oh, look, Joe's feeding them pennies. Oh, oh. Somebody take a picture. Can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super loud. Look at this next clip, equating Iraqis to lobsters. Pretty much saying Iraqis are animals and they're making fun of them and insinuating they're terrorists and, and then they're saying, don't boil me, I'm still alive, while there's literally people being burned to death by bombs in Iraq. This is just sad. Honestly, like Family Guy, really, if, if you have any compassion or humanity, no matter what your race or religion is, you gotta boycott this shit. You can't support, you can't support stuff like this. With all their racism, their bigotry. And then they also hide behind comedy, which is the sad part. There's nothing funny about innocent people dying. Take a look at this clip. Death to America and butter sauce. Don't boil me! I'm still alive! Iraq Lobster! 
a rock lobster. Death to America. And butter sauce. Don't boil me. I'm still alive. A rock lobster. We go to the Quran chapter 4 verse 140. It says, And it has already come down to you in the book, i.e. the Quran, that when you hear the verses of Allah recited, they are denied by them and ridiculed. So do not sit with them until they enter into another conversation. Indeed, you would then be like them. Indeed, Allah will gather the hypocrites and disbelievers in hell together. So pretty much what it's saying is, when you hear the verses of Allah and they're denied and ridiculed, don't sit with those people. So when they're making fun of Islam or the Prophet and Family Guy, don't watch that episode. Unless you can debate or rebuttal them, then go ahead, sit and rebuttal them and debate them and prove them wrong. So don't give them viewership. Don't buy their products, just boycott them until they change. Plus, on top of that, the show is bad. Look at the values and morality it teaches. And it always makes fun of Jesus, peace be upon him. And it always makes racist remarks towards minorities such as Jewish people, black people, Hispanic people. I mean, this show is disgusting. Peace.